With no Gaza ceasefire in sight, Secretary of State Antony Blinken landed in Riyadh Monday, meeting with Arab leadership and Saudi Arabia's crown prince to discuss Washington's desire for more humanitarian aid and plans for a post-conflict Gaza. Blinken said the U.S. was close to finishing a security agreement with Saudi Arabia that would be offered if the country makes peace with Israel. He continued to push for calm in Gaza and a pathway to a Palestinian state. The most effective way to address the humanitarian crisis in Gaza, to alleviate the suffering of children, women and men, and to create space for a more just and durable solution, uh, is to get uh, a ceasefire and not ceasefire. But we're also not waiting on a ceasefire to take the necessary steps to meet the needs of civilians in Gaza. President Biden has insisted that Israel take specific concrete, good, measurable steps to better address humanitarian suffering, civilian harm, and the safety of aid workers in Gaza. On Monday, the White House said it was way past time to declare a ceasefire, to get humanitarian aid into Gaza, and to bring the hostages home, the administration's top priority. In recent days, there has been new progress in talks, and currently the onus is indeed on Hamas. There is a deal on the table and they need to take it. We believe that all efforts need to be brought to bear to convince Hamas to accept the proposal immediately. But this conflict has spilled far beyond the confines of the blockaded exclave. U.S. student protests are gaining momentum, including at one of the nation's largest institutions, the University of Texas at Austin. Last week, that state's governor called in police to arrest dozens of protesters. Many academics condemned that move, saying President Joe Biden should address the protesters' concerns. He has to show even more clear results. There has to be a pause in the fighting. Hostages have to be returned. There have to be visible negotiations. And he has to show that he is pushing both sides, not just one side, but both sides to the table. And so he needs results. Uh, he really needs results this summer. And the protests are moving ever closer to the seat of power. On Saturday, they gathered outside a formal journalist dinner in Washington, attended by the president. And on Sunday, Hamas's media office organized a gratitude event in the city of Rafah. Palestinian school children massing to thank U.S. protesters for their activism. Anita Powell, News, The White House.